What's going on guys, Kaivox here, and the long-awaited uh, Fantastic Beast 2 wand review is finally here. We're gonna do it, we're gonna we're doing it today, and it's gonna be fun, and you guys are gonna get a good detailed look at each of the eight wands from Noble Collection, at least the eight new wands from Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, and um, I will not be getting the box for the new Elder Wand, which is technically Grindelwald's wand in this movie, but um, I have his old wand. I am going to be getting the, um, I always do this, <laughs> the Deathly Hallows set. So I will be getting that in the future. I believe it's only coming out in December, at least for the US, it's only coming out in December. So I should be getting it early December, hopefully, and I will be doing a review for that. And I'll also be doing a review to compare them to the other um, Fantastic Beast set and the um, Dumbledore's Army set so that you guys can decide, hey, if I'm gonna get one of these, it's gonna be this one and maybe it'll help you guys. And maybe this will help you guys decide which one of these, if all of them, if none of them, if any of them, you guys are gonna be getting yourself. And I just wanna let you guys know that I did pay for all these with my own money. None of this is sponsored or anything like that. I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion. And I do have some negative opinions on some of these things as well. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you guys do end up liking this video, make sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and that little notification thing if you wanna be notified of any future one stuff. We also do book related videos on this channel. So if you guys like books, Maybe you'll like that too. The first thing I wanna go over is the fact that all eight of these wands will come in these uh, collector, um, Fantastic Beasts, Crimes of Grindelwald um, boxes. The bottom doesn't even have the pattern that goes all, this pattern that goes all the way around, which I don't understand why they would do that. I guess so that they could just label the box and say like, hey, this is Theseus Scamander's box, check it out. You know, I, I don't know. I feel like this should have just wrapped all the way around. It's literally just like a sticker that wraps around the box. That's kind of a little bit disappointing. What I do like about these though, is that it doesn't have that giant thing on the front that says Fantastic Beast movie collection box because in this way, it's more of a collectible. It just looks more like something that's really from the movies or a little bit closer at least. There's a couple of little things that I don't love about it, but this is what the latest boxes look like from Noble Collection that aren't the collector boxes. So you can see there's a quite a big difference there. There's no names on the side. There's just this corny giant metallic sticker on the front, which I'm not a big fan of. I almost want to peel them all off and make my own labels for them. I think that would be really cool. Then we also have the universal boxes, which again, also look different. You can see that they're all, they're all a little bit different from each other. And um, yeah, they're, they're all significantly different. So you can see that there is a big difference in the boxes. I plan on doing a full comparison of all the boxes. I feel like there's a couple of tips there that you guys need to know about um, and it may help you decide on which ones to get. If you do wanna see that, let me know down below. I may make it sooner if there's enough interest in it, um, but there are a couple of things that I wanna let you guys know about the boxes. But the boxes themselves are pretty nice. Um, they come with the little cloth cover thing. They're all the same color. It's not like the, um, the regular Harry Potter ones that they came in some different colors, I believe. Um, they're pretty nice. I'm not a big fan of this. I always think that this looks like crap. Um, it just like, come on now, <laughs> can't have that. It just, it just doesn't look good. I'm sure that you can, you know, maybe brush that a little bit, comb it out, make it look, make it look a little bit better. All of the boxes are pretty much the same. Um, they have this soft cushiony uh, material here, which sure. It does make the wands look nice. It, you know, it, it doesn't hold the wand that well. It doesn't display the wand as well as it could, but it works. So um, for the next wands, I'm not gonna be showing you guys the boxes. So they do come in these colors. So different um, characters have different colored wand boxes. And um, those are the five different colors. Some of them are doubled. Um, I think <sighs> Dumbledore's is the only yellow one unless the Elder Wand Grindelwald's wand uh, also comes in yellow because like I said, that's the only one that I don't have. So in no particular order, let's go over all eight of the new wands. Now that we got the boxes out of the way, let's just, let's just jump into it, right?
this was the last one released in the US. For some reason, um, it took forever for them to actually have this one available. And this is Yusuf's wand. It's pretty nice. I like the design. It's a good design. Um, it's definitely has that Fantastic Beast 2 style where, you know, there's a little bit of metal trim and then some sort of black. There's, let me see, one, two, three, four, four wands. No, five wands. Sorry, I wasn't counting this one. There are five wands that have a similar styling to this where nothing really going on with the blade, but then it has a little metal guard and a little metal pommel and then a black handle. So there are some other wands in this set that that are like that, which, you know, it's okay. It seems like it's like the style of whoever was designing these. Um, some people were thinking that maybe it's because they're US wands, but no, that doesn't make sense because some of them are not US wands. Like Dumbledore's wand is not from the US. Theseus's wand is not from the US. It doesn't have the black, but you know, still. We don't really know who made all of these wands. Uh, we don't know if some of them were made by Ollivander. I'm sure that some were, um, but you know, some were not. And we don't know the US, if it was a US um, wand maker or if it was another foreign wand maker, you know, immigrated to the US. So who knows? It could have been anybody at this point until until they put something up on Pottermore, letting us know who made these wands. We don't really know what they're made out of. We don't know any of that. I would love for them to go a little bit more into detail with wand stuff, wand lore, when it comes to um, who made them, what kind of core, the wood that they're made out of, the metals that they use. Cause I just, I feel like that would be, uh, that'd be something interesting to have. But as you can see, it's, it's a decent wand. None of this is real metal. So um, there's only one wand in all of this set that has real metal in it. And that is Dumbledore's wand. Um, all the other ones are just fake painted plastic with metal resin, I guess, but resin, it's pretty much plastic. This is, um, and they do all, oh, oh, wow. Wow, I did not expect this thing to be so flexible. Do these not have metal cores anymore? Most of them are not this bendy. So now one of my favorite wands is, um, is Flamel's wand, Nicholas Flamel. Um, this thing just looks super cool. While I just bent that other one, let's see how this one bends. Oh wow, look at that, pretty bendy. So I'm assuming that all of these, either they changed what's inside, maybe they just put some, I don't know, more flexible stuff inside, or they don't have metal cores anymore. Um, the material does feel a little different. It does feel a little softer, but this is 100% an antler, as you can tell. It's a very cool design. It's not comfortable at all to hold, I would say. I mean, I guess you could hold it like this. It kind of hooks. So yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I feel, I, I feel like the first time I held it, I was like trying to do something different. Maybe like, I don't even know, but it's, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go with this, pretty comfortable. At first, I didn't think it was. I like it. I like it all. Yeah, it has this great antler design. It just, I don't know what kind of antler this is, um, but it just looks really good. It, you have all the little details on here. Um, this obviously fake metal, bronze, gold, whatever this is, um, design here with the with all the little swirls and the floor de lis. It looks like there's actually just a flower in there too. Um, they looks pretty good. Again, it still has the little label here, the uh, trademark thing. They always will have that. It seems like they got smarter with them though, because um, this one isn't as visible. It's a, it's a beautiful wand and we all know Nicholas Flamel's in this movie. I feel like the wand choices for this movie was a little bit weird. Um, they chose some wands that I was like, hey, why, why wouldn't they show off that other one that they, they showed us the real wand. That one looks really cool. But um, you know, it looks pretty good. Nicholas Flamel's I'd say is probably my second or third favorite wand out of all of these. This is Abernathy's wand, by the way. And I'm assuming it's the same Abernathy from the first movie, um, the guy that was trying to stop Queenie from leaving with the suitcase and she's like, I'm sick, blah, blah, blah. I'm hoping that he has a bigger role in this movie because what's the point of giving us his wand if he's just gonna be like in the background somewhere, right? It's another one of that classic style design with the, um, the metal guard. This one just looks like it's a, a ring slid over this. And then I'm assuming this is just the same wood as this and it's just painted. Um, has a pretty nice swirl, little ball at the end. Um, so it's a decent design. I'm wondering how much Abernathy is actually gonna be a part of this. Pretty much all of these wands have this same straight blade design, um, except for, I guess the Elder Wand, but 
you can't really count the Elder Wand because it's from the first series. That being said, um, out of all the new wands, they pretty much all have straight blades, except for Dumbledore's wand, which it does, it has about a half a straight blade because the beginning of it is a little bit funky and cool and great. And by the way, his wand is my favorite wand out of this series. And I think out of all the series, I think, I think his is my favorite. Don't tell anybody. And now let's move over to the one and only Theseus Scamander, um, the war hero, Newt's brother. It has that same style design. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be gold or brass. Um, so we're gonna go with gold. And then we have this turtle shell design, which is actually very similar to my glasses. The, the turtle shell design on this is actually just a, it looks like a wrap. Um, like a screen print almost. I'm not sure how they how they got it on here, but there's actually a small seam that you can pro hopefully see there. Um, it just runs right down this, and you can see where this, the, the pattern starts and the pattern ends. Um, it's not a, like a clear acrylic with the stu actual like real stuff in there. Uh, it's kind of a disappointment. It would be kind of cool if it, if it was a real turtle shell design. The real wand obviously is because based on those pictures that we've seen of the real one, it looks pretty good. This doesn't look bad. It definitely looks great in photos like this, you know, just holding it, you're covering it up anyway. It doesn't really matter even if, you know, do something like that. It still looks pretty good. None of these wands from Noble Collection will be perfect. They all will have some little defects, some tiny little problems with them. And if you tell me that it doesn't, I guarantee you I could find a problem with it. It's impossible that in shipping, it's not gonna get some sort of little damage or even in manufacturing. Also, the wands only cost $37. It's not like you're paying $200 for like a screen accurate, perfect thing. If you were paying that much, I could see you complaining about any little thing, but um, I'll make a separate video about the little defects that you may encounter when you buy these. Um, so look forward to that. I guess, or don't look forward to that. Either way, this is a beautiful wand. Um, definitely really, really nice. And it has that same pattern on it where uh, it it's actually has little cutouts, little grooves and uh, little little filled in black wood, wood grain on there. They look good. I would say that this next wand is my least favorite and probably is gonna be most people's least favorite, but I feel like it's one of those things where you love it or hate it. If you like it, you love it. If you hate it, or if you don't like it, then it's probably like, oh man, why would they ever make that? That's what it is for me. I feel like it's really boring and ugly. And if you guys don't know whose it is, it is the Skender wand. Um, one, it looks like something from Wizards of Waverly Place or something like that. Some dumb Disney show that uh, just looks terrible. It looks like a little mini staff. Like you'd hold it up here and just like a walking cane, like a little, like a child's walking cane. Um, that's what it looks like to me. It's, uh, it's a terrible, weird design. I don't know, maybe it's this greenish, brownish color. It looks like wood that was painted with like some fence paint, de deck paint or something. You know, the type of paint that you would you would paint your deck with. Um, just, it, it's all s smeared and kind of, kind of liney. I don't know how to describe this. Maybe it's just a Noble Collection version of it, but I definitely feel like it's a, it's literally a stick with a ball on the end and a little gold trim around it. Um, the ball isn't even like a ball ball. It's kind of like a lopsided shaped ball, which again, this is a nitpick, but um, there's certain little things right here where you can see the black coming through from underneath. It, it's just the, the fit and finish on it isn't great. And then also the design is just kind of leaves something to be desired. It's also significantly thicker than all of the other ones. Maybe that's what they, they were like, oh, well, you know, let's, the design is not as great, so let's just make it fatter. We solved the problem. That's it, all we gotta do is make it fatter and it'll be, everybody will like it more because it's fatter, there's more material there. It's good. It's a, it's all right, it's not, it's not terrible, but you know, my least favorite, still like it. I still appreciate that they made this. I forgot what we're on. Oh, oh, here we go. So now this is Spielman. Um, and this is one of the ones that I was the most interested in. I want to see 
how they did this because one, it has a square base, square handle, square pommel, square guard, and then part of the blade is actually squared off right here, and then at the end, it goes into a, a circular cylinder shape at the end. Um, it looks pretty good. There's a lot of like waviness here. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. I don't know if that's part of the original design. I feel like this should be more perfectly straight across. This white uh, kind of creamy color here reminds me of um, ivory. I'm assuming that this is supposed to be like an ivory handle with some silver trim or nickel. Um, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, but it looks pretty good. The little swirls are nice. It looks all right. I don't think on any of these wands does the silver metallic color actually look very metallic-y. It all just looks like um, paint. I don't know, except for obviously Dumbledore's wand, but his is the exception for some reason. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't know. I feel like these are a little bit more bendy than the last ones. This is a cool wand. This is a cool design. I feel like they tried a little bit harder with this. They did um, try to change up the design a little bit. Let's make this handle square, you know, it looks cool. It's different. It's definitely a, a interesting thing to see. Um, there aren't a lot of square handled wands out there. So it, it's it's nice to see. It's, it's nice to see something a little bit different. I wonder if it'll stand up. No, because this isn't perfectly straight. It's a little, it's a little rounded off. Um, I don't know if that's on purpose. I feel like it's not. So, and now let's talk about Lita's wand. Um, this is probably my second favorite wand out of all of these wands. I think it, it looks really good. Um, they did a very good job with this. I feel like this one looks, because it has more black in the handle itself, the pommel and the guard, it makes it look a little bit more like it's real metal. Um, it still looks like painted plastic with silver, silver accents. Um, for some reason, they put the trademark thing here and they made it, um, they made it gold for some reason. They could have at least made it like silver so that it kind of blends in or maybe just make it black, a different shade of black so that it doesn't, um, doesn't stand out. This twist is super cool. It's, uh, it's very twisty. It's very nice. And then it just, it's a nice design. And you can see here the, the, the bottom of the pommel looks really good. It's all nice and the little detail is, is really nice. It's like little vines or something. Um, I'm not sure, it looks pretty good. Simple design, but very nice. Now, obviously, we only have one wand left, and that is Dumbledore's wand. The the most, I would say, for me, it was the most anticipated one. Um, I was the one that I was the most excited about. I was the most interested in how it was the finish on it was going to come out because it's a, uh, it's very different than everything else. There's a lot going on with this wand. Starting at the um, at the handle here, the um, the pommel itself is metal, and so is this little mini guard right here. This, I believe, is supposed to be representing a um, like a leather wrap or something like that around the handle. We also have um, that little symbol right there on the bottom. If you guys know what that symbol represents, um, let me know down below. It's like an infinity symbol or an H. I'm not sure what it is. And then we have some more um, symbols here on the actual guard itself. And this is this right here is the most interesting part of this wand. First of all, um, it's even more flexible than the other ones. Obviously, there's no core inside of this. Um, these are also made out of real metal, and I do know that they are removable. Um, you would ruin the wand, though, at that point. You would have to glue it back together and stuff if you did do that. But um, they will come off if you try hard enough. Um, if you want to go and try to make your own uh, Dumbledore wand, uh, by using reusing these metal pieces. They are, I believe, plated though, so if you do scratch these, it will show the, um, whatever metal that they used underneath. Um, it'll probably have a couple of different uh, layers of some metal, so you will get to the raw metal, and then I don't know what you're gonna do after that, so just, just don't, just be careful. This twist right here is great. Uh, there's a couple of little defects in it that you can't really fix because it's flashing from the mold making. Um, it does seem like they probably made this in, uh, probably made this with black plastic 
So if you scratch it, I'm not gonna scratch mine, all right? But if you scratch it, it'll probably not um, be ruined. It does have a lot of little details, which may be a little bit harder for you guys to see here. But um, there are a lot of little nooks and crannies and scratches here, which I really like the design for this because they could have easily just made it into a perfect little twist, a perfect spiral, just looking beautiful. But this gives it more character. This makes it look much better. There's also that scene where Dumbledore is holding it under his armpit and it just like looks so cool because he's just like, oh, I'll just put this wand right here. It's like when Newt put his wand in his mouth and just was doing whatever while holding his wand. Needless to say, this is uh, my favorite wand and I feel like it's gonna be a lot of other people's favorite wands. One, because Dumbledore is a crowd favorite, I would say. At least for me, he's, he's one of my favorite characters, especially young Dumbledore, you know, he's just killing it. Just Newt and young Dumbledore are my, uh, my two favorite characters. Newt is probably still my favorite character, but Dumbledore is like a close second. And then I'd probably say like Ron is like my next favorite character. This is a beautiful wand. And um, I would say if I had to choose one wand out of all of these, it would definitely be this. And then probably Lita's wand. And then probably Nicholas's wand. It's so weird to call him Nicholas. Flamel's wand. Um, these are my top three in backwards order. Three, two, one. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any ideas for any future videos, anything else that you want to know about the wands, leave a comment down below. Um, I, I usually answer most comments or at least I read all of them. So feel free to comment. Also coming up right after I finish talking is going to be that B-roll of everything else. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you liked it. And uh, I'll see you guys soon in another wand video probably. Bye-bye-bye.